back in November, I did a roundup of every dumb TikTok and Instagram reel that I had seen that month. And today we're doing it again. And today, because we are right in that new year, new me type of mindset, there's a lot of videos here. So um, we're gonna start to make our way through and jump right in. Essentially, we're gonna look at the clip. I'm gonna tell you why I put it in this video and then we're gonna move it on. Please remember that the goal of this video is not to shame any of these creators unless they are fully taking advantage of you. It is more so giving you the understanding of how to identify these red flags and identify the BS. <laughs> You just went from doing a deadlift to a squat. I really only save this because this is literally like a master coach on the Fitbit workout app. So right away, this man reaches down. The kettlebell is too far in front of him. Look at this rounded spine. I'm not saying that you can't round your spine during movement, but he literally in the first clip told you not to and is telling you to keep your back flat. We're also far more knee dominant here, which makes it a squat. This is not a deadlift. I don't like to comment on people's form because I think we're all learning. If I looked back at my form from even a year ago on certain exercises, I would be like, girl, what are you doing? So I don't ever like to hold that against people unless you're literally making a form correction video. <laughs> so this is more funny than anything. Drove the gates feeling anxious around 12 a.m. Just move but might move it all out again. It's feel like deja vu. Swear last year my brain bought the same thoughts through. I blame the things I do. Only difference is I ain't in school. You heard that news? I feel like birdies to these worms in <sighs> I have so many things to say about this one. This was another that I saw on Instagram. Let's start with the text and then we'll go from there. POV, you save this workout for when you have less than 20 minutes and want a waist snatching fat burning workout. Okay, so waist snatching, fat loss from your waist, you can't spot reduce fat. I'm gonna say it now so I don't have to explain it again the thousand times in this video. You cannot choose where your body loses fat from. Meaning if you're doing a workout that is working your abdominal muscles, that does not mean that you're losing fat from that area. It means that you are building the strength in your abdominal muscles. Your genetics are going to determine where you lose fat from in your body and you lose fat by being in a negative energy balance or a caloric deficit. Great. So that doesn't make any sense. Fat burning workout. I actually made a whole video on fat burning workouts, the fat burning zone. So you can check that out if you want. There's no such thing as a fat burning workout. Anyone who says, oh, cardio is a fat burning workout. No, you're just using a lot of energy in that moment. It's not literally burning fat from your body. Because let's take it this way. Let's say you did a cardio workout that burned 300 calories but then you ingested 500 calories. Well, now you're not in a negative energy balance anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not as simple as that. You have to zoom out and look at the big picture. So the claim is disproven. Let's talk about, I don't even wanna talk about the exercises. What is this trend of like, I'm looking up your ass, you're a faceless human. And the worst part about this is that this is a doctor of physical therapy and CSCS. That is number one, like you have a doctorate and you also have the most prestigious personal training certification there is. When I see people who have CSCS next to their name, I'm like, oh, okay, you know what you're talking about. This is actually like incredibly upsetting to see because it just discredits people who do have this certification. And honestly, not a lot of women do. So it's like even more troubling and unfortunate. Ugh, I, I just like, so disappointing. Next. This one was actually really unfortunate for me. So this is Megan Rue. She owns the Sculpt Society. And I typically really like the content that she puts out. I don't really love her workouts. Like it's just not my style. It's like high rep, low weight, a lot of like cardio underneath everything. It's just not for me. But typically her messaging is pretty like neutral. There's not really like outrageous claims being made. So it was a little disappointing to see her pushing cycle syncing when there is like still no research to support it. I already made a whole video discussing the research that we currently have and my thoughts on it. To sum it up, there's, there's two points of view on this. Number one, I do think that people with a period should be paying attention to that and have more knowledge about that and how it influences their energy levels, their movement. That I do not think is a bad thing. But 
What is unfortunate is that we do not have nearly enough research right now to tell us what those changes should be. Most research that we have on exercise science has been done on men, and the reason for that is because hormonally they are a lot less complicated. So the research that we do have on people who menstruate is not only minimal, but it's really done on athletes. Most of the people viewing Megan's content are not athletes. And honestly, most of the conclusions that have been drawn have been kind of just like, uh, yeah, you should probably listen to your body. But unfortunately now coaches or influencers are pushing like, well, this is what you have to do and this is what works. And this is my program around cycle syncing. And there's just nothing to back that up quite yet. So that is unfortunate because I do really respect Megan. <laughs> I'm just doing the 28 day challenge from Just Fit. Here? My husband just doesn't get it. I'm doing the 28 day calisthenic workouts with Just Fit. They are all equipment free workouts, very easy and flexible, and no gym memberships needed. But what attracts me most is that I can also get personalized movements to suit my fitness level. It's like taking a personal coach with me wherever I want to work out. My husband eventually shocked by the results I'm getting, so you need to download this free app too. Girl, your husband sucks. <laughs> So many of these ads are like, my husband or my boyfriend, screw him. I don't give a shit what he thinks. You wanna work out with weird AI technology? Do it for you. I'm walking in the room, pointing and laughing at you. What terrible marketing. So don't test me. I don't want things to get messy. Yeah, drop down in the OS. Ladders back. Ladders on here a lot, I think. We talked about this last month, but the like baby girl, sweetie honey, girly pop, sis, like, what if we marketed to men that way? Baby boy, little boy, sweet little baby angel boy. It's so condescending. I'm a grown person, thank you. So obviously this claim is total BS, but the reason I saved this is because you can tell it's just a reused ad. Like they just put on a new date on top. It was probably like, we start December 1st, and then they were like, we wanna run this ad again, so let's just do like this Monday. <laughs> it's just so silly. Are we still doing the like pull up your boobs and show your abs type of marketing? You know, it's it's giving like this worked for me so it'll work for you. These workouts transform my body. Show me, show me, show me the documented research that you did all of these workouts that you're currently programming to look like this. Show me. I'm not saying that this person or the coaches on ladder don't program well, that they're not qualified. The marketing just drives me insane. I ain't really worry about nothing. All these people all around me always worry about something, yeah. Saying I should stay up in the books and I start to build up. Show me. Show me the 11 inches that you lost doing this exact program. Oh, sorry, method. Oh my God, and that's the big thing. If you haven't tried my strength X Pilates method, if you haven't tried my 411 method, if you haven't tried my A, B, C, D, E, F, G method, like it's all made up. It's literally all made up. They put in words that sound fancy to make it sound like they know what they're talking about. And I do think a lot of these coaches know what they're talking about. I just, for some reason, they are working with a company that has the grossest marketing that I've seen this year. I had some back fat that I wanted to get rid of and my friend told me about this body scan by Zing Coach. I decided to try it out and this was so cool. It takes a picture of your body and provides you with complete body data. With this information, it creates a personalized fitness program for you. Start your fitness journey now by scanning Scanning your body with the app Zing Coach. We can all use common sense and know that your phone can't scan you and tell you what your body fat percentage is, right? That's all I'm gonna say about this one. Girl, get back on track, regain your focus, and give the rest of this year everything you have got. Are, is, why can't we ever see anyone's face? Like even, this is the one that gets me. So it's like from the back, from the back, from the front. <gasps> Can't see me. Like, is she in witness protection? This is how I do a back squat. Do you feel like training and nutrition can feel very overwhelming sometimes? Then you need Athia. I created Athia not to be just another fitness app. I created Athia to be a one stop for everything involving your health. I created this app to be different and to support your mental health. And oh, here's me pulling down my pants. I want to be clear, I have no issue with people showing their body, showing it off, but the second you do it to sell something, red flag. I just finished the 28-day Pilates for pelvic floor, and my belly turned out like this. 
It doesn't require going to the gym, but still helps you stay in shape. This challenge has been popping up on my For You page because it's great for working on pelvic floor muscles. Simply tap the screen right now and give it a try. I'm on a mission to take better me down. <laughs> I actually already did a whole video on like pelvic floor workouts and how so many of them are just a scam. Pelvic floor health is super important for everybody, but it's not going to give you whatever AI generated abs those are. If we also think about the people who are going to be gravitated toward pelvic floor workouts or health, it's going to be recent postpartum mothers. So I just think it's really like manipulative and gross marketing. Like you know what demographic you're trying to take advantage of and it's people who are going through pre hormonal changes, lack of sleep, wild changes in their body, feeling like their body isn't their own, and you're going to put out content like this, it's gross. Oh, ladder's back. What are these claims? Drop fat, build lean muscle, aka get toned. All right, that is actually like what toned means. So thank you for that. You need to try these dumbbell only workouts. Whenever people are like dumbbell only, kettlebell only, barbell only, body weight only, like it doesn't matter. <laughs> kettlebell versus a dumbbell. Like if you're doing an upright row, it's going to do the same thing. So this is a personal training certification. Why am I looking at your asshole? Immediately no. Immediately no, I will not be getting any certifications from you. If you're like me and deal with really intense sugar cravings and can't figure out if you're snacking because you're hungry or because you're bored, then this is for you. I swear one of the hardest parts of my whole fitness journey was learning to listen to my appetite. I was pretty skeptical when I heard that Lemmy came out with Lemmy Curve, but I have tried this for a few weeks and let me tell you because this stuff is amazing. Basically all you have to do is take two pills a day. They just look like this. It's a blend of chromium, bitter melon, cinnamon and also a greens blend. All those things individually are amazing for your insulin levels, but altogether it's like a glucose super pill. After taking them for a little while, I noticed that not only were my cravings significantly decreased, but I was actually able to listen to my body and determine when I was truly hungry. So if you deal with blood sugar spikes, insulin resistance like I do, or just looking for ways to manage your cravings, I highly recommend trying it out for yourself because I swear you will notice a crazy difference. Cheers. <sighs> I actually don't even know where to start. I think I like my brain imploded when she said it's like a glucose super pill. What does that mean? Okay, I think the biggest red flag here is like, I finally learned to listen to my hunger cues. All I have to do is take these two pills a day and I no longer have cravings. I don't know any of the science behind any of those supplements that she just named in this pill, chromium, bitter melon. Like, I don't know what the claims are behind those with regulating your insulin or anything like that. But I, I firmly believe that most people don't need something fancy like this. Most people need to just build better habits. Most people skip that basic step and jump to these crazy things, which are not sustainable and more than likely don't work. Okay, aside from the spot reduction claims, which we've already talked about, I'm seeing a huge resurgence in products that like we've already done. This is just a reinvented Simply Fit board. Like we've been here, we've done this already. If you enjoy this type of movement, which you're moving, so you will expend energy, amazing. But it's not anything different than going on a walk, walking on a treadmill, using an elliptical, being on the Stairmaster, doing a dance workout at home. Like it's not any different in terms of targeting your mommy pouch. No. I actually love this habit of like, okay, I'm gonna do some movement as I'm watching trashy TV. My trashy TV of choice is below deck. Please let me know what yours is down below. But this idea that we're like burning off the Halloween candy just in time for the holidays, like what year is it? You don't need to burn off Halloween candy. You've also probably already used it as energy. I just got a message from my new dude. Well, you I question my blues, clues. I sat in the house and he said, come. I jumped in the car and it was zoom. Guys, it's just a thigh master. We're literally, we're just repeating history. Again, if you enjoy this to strengthen your inner thighs for whatever reason, amazing. Do you need it? No, there's a thousand other things you can use. Also side note, I made this video where I tried out like old fitness products and I think it's hilarious and it did not perform as well as I hoped. So you should go watch that. Oh, but also to be clear in case you have not realized yet, that thigh master, it will not slim your inner thighs. You will just build strength there. Just making sure we're on the same page. Staring out the window. 
If I see this stepper one more time, every this is like a total side topic. Everything is an ad now on TikTok. Everything is, everyone's an influencer. Everyone has the magic pill. Everything is $20 off always. Like it's infuriating. I brought my arms from this to looking like this just by doing one thing. I am someone who has always struggled with like toning my body. I've been able to fluctuate my weight pretty easily, but I've never been able to get toned until I joined the form community and downloaded the form app. As another example, here is my arm, seriously like right before I joined form. And here is at the same event, actually a year later after I joined form. Hey guys, here's my arm before I joined this community. And now here's my arm after. You're just pushing it up against your body and then taking it away. I'm not saying that I think this is Sammy Clark's app. Like I'm not saying that she doesn't have good workouts. I don't know. I'm just saying this, this marketing is manipulative. You're just taking your body in different angles and smushing your skin. There are definitely some great habits in there. Eating breakfast, sometimes people don't do well having coffee right in the morning, but show me your labs. Show me your labs. Show me that your cortisol dropped. Show me it was even elevated. Show me the controlled situations where you absolutely know that it was the coffee that was doing this, or it was the running that was doing this, or it was the HIIT workout that was doing this. I made a whole video, I made a video about everything, but I made a whole video on cortisol already. Cortisol is a hormone in our body that is naturally supposed to fluctuate, and right now it's just being demonized. And anytime anyone like can't lose weight, they're like, oh my cortisol's high. Show me your labs. Content like this always reads very to me like, well, it wasn't my fault. I have a dysregulated hormone system. Sorry, nervous system. And that's why I'm anxious. That's why I have gut issues. That's why I'm constipated. And it's more than likely not as complicated as you're making it. And it just directs you to these things like, I'm, I'm trying to make a whole video on somatic exercises and what that means. I, I wanna get in, involved with like a professional and an expert cause I can only, you know, share so much. I have no knowledge of it. So if you know someone, let me know. But like lymphatic system activation, that was, <laughs> it's vaginal toning. <laughs> I know it's not what I think it is, but. But it's just like all of these things you probably don't need to be doing. Like before you do any of this, I would probably first go, how's your sleep? How's your stress? Let's look at those two things first. All right, another baby girl. Also this idea of ghost mode. What does that mean? It means that you're going to disappear. You're going to give up all obligations and just focus on working out and getting snatched by whatever date they inserted on this ad. Fitness should not take away from your life. It should add to it. So if you need to give up everything in your life, disappear from your friends and family, disappear from your other commitments just to work out and get snatched, you're not going about it the right way. And this person is manipulative. Another ad, vibration plates. I actually don't know a ton of the like actual benefits of them. I will do a little research and pop them up on the screen, but you guessed it. What are most of these people selling it for? Weight loss. Again, let's just use common sense. Standing on something that's vibrating is not going to cause you to lose weight. Bone got a couple cracks on it. Oh, well, boy, on the retina. People showing tales on the spicy in my drink. Do my dance like turning tag. So she's like a New York City influencer. I typically like a lot of her content, and I noticed she started doing this, and I was like, oh my God, now she's putting out a workout that's like crazy ab workout that snatched my waist. Again, show me the before and after. I said, you can't spot reduce fat. No, but you can neglect muscles, obliques, so they atrophy. Jesus. This whole idea that like, oh my God, if I do any oblique focused movement, I'm going to bulk up and look like a bodybuilder is insane. You are not using enough resistance to ever make that happen. You're fine. Do your little Russian twists or whatever. I unfollowed her. It's just another thing you don't need. If you want to buy this, you go for it. 
it will not shrink your waist, transform the appearance of your abs, unless you actually lose the body fat on top. You could also do this with like sliders on the floor. You don't need this big machine. I don't know who has the money or space for this. In this economy. Woke up at 11 o'clock. I ain't got no job. What the hell should I do today? So on Monday, December 18th, we're gonna start the 411 method. What the heck is that? So we can look and feel our best by January 1st in two weeks. You're gonna look and feel your best in two weeks. That's a miracle program, girly. is this 130 hour rule. It takes 130 quality training hours to transform your body. It's just like, it's throwing out these equations that don't, it doesn't, it doesn't take into account any nuance, any personalization. Like some of the things they're saying are right. Like your program should ideally be progressive. It should be challenging. You need to eat to support your program if you want to see certain results or gain certain results. Your sleep has to be in check. But like, I, I don't understand the fascination that Ladder has with these numbers and rules. I I mean, I do understand it. People gravitate toward toward it and it's very misleading. She's told us a lot, 777 times. Stop doing sit-ups. You will never strengthen and define your core by sitting up. Instead, try this upper body movement. <laughs> I mean, number one, I actually don't understand when people are like, sit-ups are bad for you because like, we sit up every day. Like it's just like a movement we do. So like why would you not train it? So stop sitting up and instead we're gonna do this upper body exercise where you're resisting flexion. So I guess she's saying like stop creating flexion and resist flexion instead. If you actually want defined abs, you need to do flexion exercises, but sure girly, sure girly, go off. Tell me 777, eight times. All right, we're gonna end this series with one video that I really liked. So here she is. The way that nearly 95% of people do not eat enough fiber, colon cancer's on the rise. Everybody and their mama wanna talk about gut health, would rather drink colostrum for said gut health instead of eating an apple. On top of all that, we got shirtless men in grocery stores telling you that vegetables aren't good for you, that they're gonna destroy your thyroid, that the lectins are killing you, that fruit has too much sugar. Something like 85 million US adults have high cholesterol. One of the best ways to bring that down is to eat fiber. One of the best ways to help your body is to have healthy bowel movements. One of the best ways to do that is to have fiber. Enough of it every day. It might not solve all your problems, but it's probably gonna help a lot. It is so irresponsible for people to come on here and to not promote fiber intake, but at the same time try to promote good health when like five to 7% of Americans are getting enough fiber in the first place. We do not need to be telling people in this country to eat less vegetables and fruit and whole grains, please. Everybody is different, but most people would benefit from eating those more because chances are they're just not eating them in the first place. Literally, amen. I will leave that creator link down below because out of all of these people, that is the only one you should be following. I made a whole video talking about fiber and its benefits, but she's right. Why are we promoting supplements? Why are we saying that broccoli is gonna kill you? Why are we promoting all of these things except for something that has been proven to decrease the risk of disease? Oh, because there's no big fiber, just big pharma. Anyway, that's the video. I'm very intrigued to see what trends emerge this month. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you all in the next one.